All right guys, so today what we're gonna talk about is the concept of null space floating on the Flexive robot. Now this is a concept that can be applied to other robots as well, but specifically we're gonna talk about this in the context of the Flexive robot, okay? So in order to do this, I'm gonna come around to the other side of the robot and I'm gonna start moving things to show you visually what null space floating means. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so in order to visualize this, I have the robot in free drive mode. Specifically, I have it in free drive floating. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and pull a dead man switch, and I'm going to push the robot back and watch it come right back to its original position. It's fighting me almost like an elastic band. It's coming back you know, to its original position there. Keeping the end effector, by the way, exactly where it was when it started. What if I wanted to reorient the robot keeping the end effector in a different position? I don't want it to come back, right? I want to move it to where I want it. So that's what null space floating allows me to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the switch again. And I'm gonna move this forward and let go. You can see that it's kept its new location here, right? It didn't elasticize and go back to its original position. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the dead man switch again. And I'm gonna move the robot back to about where we started. And you can see that the robot has that new position. So that's the difference between null space on versus off. On allows the joints to move and stay in their new positions. Off will make it kind of try and hold its original position. Now, where does this also come into play when I'm changing orientation? Let's go ahead and shut null space off. And we're gonna go ahead and say we're gonna rotate around the uh, center point of the tool, which is right here, okay? So with that on, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the uh, X axis, so it's gonna rotate around this way. So I'm gonna pull this, and I want you to focus when I do this, I wanna focus on the first couple joints over here. This joint, where this is, and where this is pointing that way, right? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, I'm gonna move it up here, and I'm gonna move it back down there. And I'm gonna move it back up here, and I'm gonna move it back down there. And I'm gonna move it back one more time, just so I can make my point, right? Notice how the robot is in about the exact same position where we started, right? Now, I'm gonna turn null space floating on, okay? So with null space floating on, I'm gonna do that same motion I just did before. Grab the robot and move it, and I want you to keep track of those upper, those upper joints over there. A Couple more times. Noticing something different? Let's end right there. Does the robot look anywhere like where we started? No, you can see this is now pointing out toward us. You can see that the joint, which used to be over here, is now coming out toward us here. So null space floating allows the joints to float around and get new positions where when it's off, it tries to hold those original joint positions. So this is an important concept when using this robot, especially if you wanna do something like, you know, okay, I like where the end effector is, but I want to change where the joints are. So I can basically say, okay, I want that to be there. Null space floating can be uh, on. I'll pull the dead man switch here. Be like, no, I really wanted it back here. That's where I wanted the robot. And that is null space floating. 